Alright, and welcome back to Hard West. This is the third part of our series. We are about to take the Mexican crime lord on. How could he dare to kidnap Florence, our soon to be wife, hopefully? So, Warren and his father are actually taking a couple of uh, guns with them. Both of them have a rifle, and both of them do have a navy uh, gun, or, yeah, in his case, a six-shooter. Taking a look at the cards, I think we uh, have uh, given all of the cards away. So far, I know that uh, Warren had the new card, um, the Golden Shot, which allows you to shoot from anywhere to anywhere through any sort of cover, which is really a, a great card. Let's see, I think the father uh, just received um, the Screecher card, uh, where he can scream. There we go. Queen of Clubs, yeah, Shrieker card. And he's also having the Jack of Diamonds with the Shadow Salt regenerate when not in direct sunlight. Very powerful nightmares. Okay, good. Good enough. So we're looking at... Um, the father with 65 aim, Warren unfortunately down to 50 aim, both with uh, similar defense and similar side. By the way, the 27 is interesting enough exactly the same side that XCOM is using. Alright, let's proceed to, uh, to combat. Florence was locked up, it was time to get her out and get some payback. Let's go, guys. To Let's go. Lawrence through a barred window. To get her out, you'd need the key. This same key could also be used to lock the guards inside the house. We do have a setup stage. Let's let me explain what the setup stage is. Now, within the setup stage, um, we are non-suspicious. Every enemy has a field of vision, though. In this case, like the red field in front of him. And this field of vision indicates where the enemy could theoretically see us. Now, for instance, if I just move to here, he wouldn't be able to see us, although we're like quite literally standing next to him. And likewise, the open here doesn't trigger anything either. Setup phase allows us only to take one action. Uh, we don't have two actions. But there is a great option, which is called Subdue. Um, we are basically forcing him to get his hands up. Select an enemy to Subdue for four turns, based on the character's heat. Character's heat was the more dangerous we look, but the better our sub uh, Subdue ability. So Warren is basically telling him, get your hands up. Whilst the father, on the other hand, um, is moving in. The key was yours. You could release her right away. Or first lock the guards inside to Warren make sure they of, didn't uh, on the other hand, up. still says, stick them up, buddy. Don't even think about it. Now, we're moving all the way to here with the father. Warren sa still says, stick them up, buddy. We're closing the door. Here we go. And I'm not locking the other side because I actually want to kill the guards and I like it when they patrol like um, along this wall and basically come out here. All right, Warren still continues. So stick them up, buddy. We would cross the vision range of someone by moving to here. So instead, Moving back. <gasps> OK, 
casually walking along the center yard and still say, uh, saying stick them up buddy so this guy uh, seems to protect the entrance he wasn't here the last time I'm surprised to actually see him <gasps> Let's see, if we're moving to here... I'm just trying to get rid of this character here. Hmm. The additional number in a suspicious enemy's icon says how many turns they will start combat. Okay, so this guy will soon start combat, which means we might as well just open the door. At last, once was free. Now, on to the guards. Okie dokie, we just got our shootout, so we're moving into uh, into cover here, and we're taking the good old revolver, and we are going to kill this guard. There you go. One down, thousands to go. Florence, gets herself into cover. Matter of fact, we all get ourselves into cover. We can't hit this guy, we can't hit this guy. Ah, too bad. Alright, the enemies slowly but surely try to make their way out. France is going to start flanking this gentleman. Uh, we have multiples here, but we're going to start with him. No cover, 55%. There you go, guard was killed. I wish this game would have a bit more of an of, an, of a clearer uh, feedback whether or not you would see someone once you are at this position. It's one of uh, the criticisms that I currently have. It's hard for me to tell whether or not I, I actually can see someone. Others moving in. Sees a couple of bonditos actually. We're going to start shooting this guy there. There we go. Now let me show you something that I wanted to show you before, which is the golden bullet. Now, most of these guys are in a in a good cover. For instance, uh, the person with five hit points up here. Um, with the golden bullet, we are being able to. Uh, to get Lone Shark El Oscuro from down here and it'll, it'll be an automatic hit. Unfortunately it'll only deal 4 points of damage which I think I will uh, not do. No, 4 points of damage wouldn't kill him. Hence we're not doing it. Um, if we were just to take a normal shot we would look at 39% 
which isn't great either. At best, we could get uh, 30, uh, we could get one damage here. But before we're not doing anything, we might as well take a shot and deplete his luck. So he's down 40 luck. And he's now running closer. Um, to our target. If we were to go to here, we would actually pull off a um, reaction shot, which we do not want. So we three, uh, we see three enemies. Um, one option to deal with this is Shriek, which is a powerful ability. Uh, Shriek deals three enemies to all of uh, three damage to all of the enemies in line of sight. But unfortunately, he has only line of sight to two enemies. I think that this here is not provoking an attack from him. No, it's not. But we have the Lone Shark Shriek in our crosshair. Oh shit, really? I only hit him once? Well, that was bad. I was thinking that we would... No not getting him so in order to not take a lot of damage Shriek actually needs to take the golden bullet I'm sorry buddy all right let's move for runs and again take the full cover here uh, we want to get them in a crossfire and I actually would like to go all the way over here so Florence can take the um, cover right over here. He's currently in full cover and these guys here will be easy targets once we get them into a crossfire. Florence moves in. just killed them, the guard. There is a guard totally out of cover. I think we should be able to see him here. Yes, we are. And this should be a kill. Three enemies remaining. We know that they are here and here. So might as well just move up a little bit. And since we have nothing to shoot at, let's reload. I didn't want to go any further because you run <coughs> into the risk of them moving back into the room and then taking flanking shots. Wow, so this guy actually moved out. Sheesh. Oh, that's Sheesh. Well, buddy, I'm so sorry, you know. I really am. <laughs> well, it's a bad day for Sheesh. Father is taking a shot. require one more turn. Ricochet again has no valid targets. I'm a bit disappointed about the amount of, uh, of options to use Ricochet. It's such a good ability. Alright, let's reload. We haven't taken a single point of damage so far. Was free. 
and there was no one left to pursue you. At last, Lawrence was free. Mission completed. Very well. Reunited again, the two of you returned home safe and sound. We got two new cards. The card received nine of clubs and red joker. A few days later, father came to you in a panic with the amulet. It was falling apart in his hands. It appeared father had been cheated by the strange gentleman who had been so de uh, devilishly convincing. Well, no one would have expected that. No one can meddle with the balance of the world and get away. Ever onwards, father was jinxed by a cursed trinket. Forevermore, he brought bad luck wherever he went. So not only have we lost our good luck, we completely screwed it up. Let's look at the shady joint. The place was filled with low lives. Um, we can hire a miner to help us prospecting. Um, the miner would actually also help us to um, to fight. So, I mean, why not? Let's go for it. A seasoned expert joined the company in increasing your mining income by 15% as long as he was around. Old Ike. And Old Ike is, by the way, I think also the guy um, who was blind. The place was still filled with low lives. Uh, you ask around if anyone knew how to lift the curse. Most of them put their face in exorcism. You heard they tell a fortune teller nearby, probably a charlatan, but at this point you'd try anything. Or maybe you'd be better off with a classic, find a wishing well and drop a coin inside. The place was still filled with lowlifes. Um, Talk turned to news from the Mexican's town that he was now dead. Things sounded bad there. The Mexican was harsh, but kept order. Now the town was in total anarchy. You did your best to barter. Let's see what we can barter with. Um, well, we don't need much here. Probably the elephant rifle wouldn't be bad. I mean, that's a good weapon. Let's take a look at it for a second, because I think the elephant rifle was the weapon that allowed us to shoot. Um, it's an interesting weapon. I think I know it. The game just needs to load a little bit. So some of the weapons are snipers. Yep, in this case, I'm right. So that's a long range sniper. And you can see that the damage versus targets in half cover is the same damage as target as normal targets. So that's an excellent rifle um, to take our targets in half cover. Uh, chain rifle, medium range, um, medium damage, but 16 ammunition and looks incredibly badass. You get three heat out of it. All right, so we get the elephant. The loaded dice are pretty nice as well. 50 maximum luck are good. And I think that's okay for now. Let's not get overwhelmed instead. We're taking the elephant, uh, the elephant uh, rifle, and that's pretty much about it. Let's adjust the offer and get an elephant rifle. Good. We can use that um, prior to our next combat. So, going to the well. It was the well you heard people talking about. You could drop a coin inside and make a wish. Looking down, you saw golden coins and glimmering in the water. I think we will just climb down, but not drop a coin. We are greedy. Cash received 50.
I'm not sure though, because most of the climbing exercises usually lead to your character taking wounds. And I wanted to show you the wounds for a second, because uh, they are a problem. So we now got an amulet curse, minus 5 luck per turn, which is really bad. Um, but we also have a missing forefinger. You were missing a finger, but the next one in line was your favorite anyway. Plus 10 aim. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, okay, here's here's the thing. Um, we got that wound. You remember that we had uh, we had that um, wound from climbing into the cave, right? And we kept the wound without healing it. And the game has actually a very interesting mechanic, um, which allows you to turn wounds over time into into pretty good uh, buffs for your character. Now the wound turned into us losing the finger, but we now have a we now uh, pull the trigger with our favorite finger, which gives us plus ten aim, plus one maximum HP for however that works, and a little bit less luck, but that's okay. And climbing down effectively hasn't damaged us. Okay, elephant rifle deals five damage. The rifle of the old guy here, the musket, deals eight damage. I really like it. I really like it. But the elephant rifle is also pretty good. Let's give the old guy the elephant rifle and the six shooter. Florence here. We'll get a Western Rifle and a Musket. And a pair of Herbs. And we're missing Talismans, but that's okay for now. So we got a couple new cards. Let's take a look at the cards for a second. Because they are hugely good to, um, to read through and assign before you're going into battle. We have gotten the Red Joker, I've never got that. Uh, ability none, uh, no ability on its own, but the Joker serves as a wild card for making better hands. Plus it gives plus 1 HP, plus 2 defense and plus 10 luck. Wow, that's a really good card. Like we're... Which means if we're putting 3 of a kind here, we're getting plus 30 maximum luck. Oh my gosh, that's pretty good. And he needs a lot of luck for getting his special shots off. Okay, and we got another card. The Nine of Claps, the Cannibal. Eat human flesh to gain strength and restore health. Plus gain plus one hit point. Well, that's gross. Plus we would have nine, ten, jack, queen, and... And the Joker, which means if we want to do it, let's see the bonus for a second. Oh, with a straight, he's regenerating one hit point per round. This is incredible. He could shriek. Jack of Diamonds, Ricochet, and he has 10 hit points. Well, I would say the father is going to take all of uh, those and is the new tank of the group. I mean, with one hit point per round, uh, that effectively means him in full cover. He can take a long fight. That's pretty good bonus. That's a pretty good bonus. Uh, the The bonus for the two tens, um, which we had on Warren before, was plus four movement. That wasn't bad either, but I think uh, real poker hands are actually yielding pretty good, uh, a pretty good bonus. I haven't checked if we could have had a flush, but I, uh, but I think we're fine. One thing that I wanted to double check before we leave it is I know there was an elixir. 
Uh, fortune teller, you found a, a young woman, rumor uh, uh, said she could tell the future. Um, and we're not going to ask for a lift in the curse, but I would like to have the dexterity elixir. There we go. Confirm. Adjust to offer. Thank you. And trade. I like the bone amulet, but we're not having enough money. I want to save some money. So bone amulet plus 10 uh, aim is really good. The higher your aim, the more uh, luck you are taking away from others. Now with the dexterity potion, we can finally climb the mountain. Well prepared as always, you climb down with the dexterity elixir. The climb was long and tiring, but your extra dexterity served you well and you finished without an incident. You found a natural cavern that the hark rods in a rock indicate a good chance for gold deposit and you marked it on your map. Okay. So let us get some more gold. Boy oh boy, we're getting a lot of gold now. Oh wow, look at that. So we got ourselves 750 gold. I mean, you can never have too much gold, but that is pretty, pretty good. We're not taking the deeper rocks yet. Okay. And there is an optional quest to clean out the Mexican town from bandits. I think that is something we might want to do. Matter of fact, I think we're going to do that in the next session. So stay tight. If you enjoyed the hard quest so far, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to write a comment down below. As always, that signals YouTube that you enjoy the content and it'll make the videos more prominent. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.